So this is a bit of a spoiler, spoiler video if you haven't read the Demon Slayer manga. I have, I liked it, but I saw this article on CBR and I had to talk about it. Because uh, Lauren Tid Tidmarsh, stupid name, completely, I guess, hasn't finished the manga and just went to a certain spot and said, nope, I'm not finishing any further. Doesn't actually understand what the heck happened in the story and hasn't fully addressed the issues. And also is comparing basically to very to basically is ignoring everything everything about the hashira everything about their lives about how they act and just ignore it because let it be known that every hashira has disdain and hatred for demons they have their reasons for hating demons this article only focuses on two two of the demon slayers and says, well, they never worked through their hatred of demons. No, everybody kind of hates demons. But they never worked through their hatred and that's... And, 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 and. So let's just start it. Demon Slayer. These two powerful Hashira are tragically similar. Every character in Demon Slayer's sprawling cast has experienced their fair share of trauma and these two powerful Hashria are no exception. And again, this is a spoiler video. I'm gonna have spoiler in the description in the thing. So if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I just wanted to go through this because the this person's a stupid person. There are a total of ten ranks within the Demon Slayer Core. Beginner at Mizanotu and ending at Kioni. The Hashira are the most powerful and well accomplished of the core ranking at all levels entirely of the scale ranking at all levels entirely of the scale to get to get this title a demon slayer must reach the level of kione then either defeat 50 demons or slay a member of the 12 kizuki two members of the demon slayers current Current nine Hashira achieved the title for very similar reasons. Both the insect Hashira Shinobu Kocho, Kocho and Win Hashira Saname Shinzu Shin Azagawa. I'm probably butchering the names again because that that's how I'm reading it, and that's how I read it when I read the manga. Battled their way to the highest and most respected positions in the Demon Slayer core after losing their family to demons. Well, I mean, let's see. Uh, my one of my favorite out of the two demon out of the two Hashira. My two favorites, and I'm gonna butcher his name. I, I'm calling. I'm because I have. I need to read it again, but I want to say Tenjo. Probably getting his name wrong. <coughs> but this dude and Rangoku are my two favorites. But this dude has tons of disdain for demons. Talks about it because a demon caused him to lose his eyesight. Caused that scar. And because he lost his eyesight, he couldn't defend children that he was caring for. Because he was a teacher. Of young children. And they accused him of being the murderer. So maybe. Everybody has disdain for demons. In some capacity. You get our snake boy. Who again a lot of this is spoilers. If you don't want spoilers don't watch. Snake boy. His backstory is literally he was. Raised by a cult that worshipped a snake demon. And they wanted him to be an offering to the snake demon. Opened his mouth like a snake. And were going to kill him. Let's see. Who else can we go to? Uh, 
I think that's about, yeah, like these three here have serious hatred for demons. Everybody has hatred for demons on some scale. You get this Hashira who has connections all the way back to the first Hashira. Yeah, his brother was killed by a demon, his twin brother. So yeah, they all have hatred for demons and have lost families. The wind and insect Hashira alike are angry at demons, but also at themselves. When so What? But, again, he's angry at himself because he couldn't... Def They're all angry. Oh my freaking god, you're stupid. When Sanami was a child, his mother beca became possessed by a demon and killed five of, their, of his siblings, leading to the Hashira's... Hashira killing her to save himself and his younger brother. Shinobu likewise lost her family to demons, having both parents killed at a young age, then losing her older sister Kane, the late flower Hashira, in battle with an upper moon with an upper moon. The pair are justifiably angry at demons for being re responsible for their losses and were motivated to become stronger to avenge their family's deaths. Yeah, what's your point? Doesn't mean they're same. However, the two Hashira are also angry at themselves. Shinobu was furious that she wasn't strong enough at the time to fight alongside her sister and save her life, while Saname is understandably upset at having to kill his own mother in self-defense. Because of this, the two have pushed themselves ruthlessly to get to the level of Hashira purely out of spite, anger, and revenge. Wow. Wow. It. I'm not saying any of those things are good, but yeah. Because that's called character development. That's call, called motivation. They want revenge, so they're going to get stronger. So they got stronger, reached the level of Hashira, and are going to get revenge. They both have two very different styles of fighting as well. And also, it doesn't get into it very much in this article. But, uh, well, it, it touches upon it. The main difference between Shinobu and Saname is how they process their anger throughout Demon Slayer. Shinobu internalizes hers, successfully controlling it most of the time. She'll occasionally have a rage-induced outburst at a demon, but mostly the insect Tashira is a model mentor for younger Demon Slayers. However, internalizing all her negative emotions towards demon has its downsides. So you also ignore one of the coolest character developments of her where she literally creates the cure and the kill to the main Hashira, to, to the main villain. Name's escaping me. It's hard, but she helps create that toxin to kill him. Ignore that. Oh, and she did that alongside another demon. She had to grow past her anger. So that's why I'm convinced this person hasn't finished the manga. Because she knows some things, but she doesn't know everything. Shinobu's anger has festered inside her for her entire life. And she hates the that part of herself. In some cases, the reason the Hashira could never forgive and emphasize, empath, empathize with demons and as Tanjiro Kamado does is because of the amount of unbridled anger inside her. Because of this, Shinobu was never able to truly avenge her sister as she would have had to learn how to forgive demons to properly process Kana's death. No! You just basically ignored one of the greatest and one of the a lot of the fights that are coming. And again, I've said it a million times. If you're still watching this and you don't want spoilers, there's something wrong with you. But uh, she battles the second Kizuki. Kizuki of Upper 2. If I can remember that. It's either, yeah, Upper 2. And she has this fight. Massive fight. She loses. 
but she uses her rage to help her. And no, it's not that she lost because she didn't process her mother's, her sister's guilt and forgive demons. Why forgive these beings that are literally killing people? The only, there's only three that aren't killing people. That's Nezuku and the other two that, whose names are escaping me. But those are special cases. Tanjiro is emphasizing with them because of their human side. Because shortly before they die, they remember who they were as a human. Let's do another bit of later on things. Um... After, after Shinobu passes away, her student and, oh my god, I'm horrible with names, and the boar guy, they find her student and the boar guy battle up or two together. The student's furious at the fact that Shinobu just died in front of her. And the boar dude becomes extremely frustrated, angry with number two because, newsflash, the boar dude's mom was a part of his cult and killed his mom and wanted to kill him. So yeah, they were angry. On the other hand... Sanami's rage is constantly on show in Demon Slayer. He is obviously angry at the world and wants everyone to know it. And his, and this is shown when he first meets Nezuku Kamado. When she and Tanjiro were introduced to the Nine Hashira, Sanami showed, showed an instant dislike to Tanjiro's younger sister without even knowing her. The Wind Hashira instantly despised and taunted her trying everything to get her to attack him and prove to to his peers that she was just like uh, other demons maybe it's a rightfully so maybe you know nezuku again is one of the three in existence but they haven't really interacted with the other two demons that don't kill humans one that has never truly existed they don't know a whole lot about and on top of that, he, again, being you're first introduced to Nezuko. You're told she is not like other demons. And you know demons only to solely kill. Yeah, you're going to see if she, you're going to test her to see if, he, if she's actually what they say she is. And maybe that's pushing it a bit too far. But you're going to do that. Again, when they were first introduced to Nezuko, no, but none of the Hashira, except for one of them, was willing to accept her. They all hate demons for different reasons. None of them were willing to give, give Nezuko a chance. None of them, except for the water Hashira, whose name's escaping me. He's the only one that was willing to. All the other ones were A-OK -okay with just executing her and Tanjiro there. You're stupid. You're not watching the show. You're just writing this article because you need an article, right? So why, why don't we just throw this one together? While Shinobu was liked by the majority of Sanami's, Sanami is generally disliked by most people he meets. His externalized anger makes him grumpy, rude, and irritable, and he'll take out his anger on anyone, not just demons. Sanami's unprocessed rage has even made him push his younger brother Genya away, making his sibling face the brunt of his anger. Now, well, actually, no. Again, again. You didn't read the show. Well, you didn't read the manga. You only read parts of the manga. You probably looked it up on wiki. On some sort of wiki to write this. No. Uh, if you read it, you would know that the only reason... 
the the only reason Saname Saname is pissed off with his younger brother who and to be fair I would be annoyed with my brother if he did this as well uh, he's pissed off at his brother because he didn't want his brother to enter this life. He wanted to avenge the family and he wanted to keep his brother away from this life because he loved his brother and wanted to protect his brother. Sorry, I, I heard something. So yeah, he gets pissed. And also his brother doesn't have breathing techniques and has to use a specialized demon eating tactic to get to be able to actually deal damage and fight alongside them. He has to eat demons to do that. And he doesn't like have to watch his younger brother, who he loves, go through this and potentially die. So he gets mad, frustrated, doesn't fully know how to tell people that he's mad and frustrated, and lashes out. He's trying to protect his brother. And there's this touching moment where they all realize that. And I need to read it again, but I'm pretty sure that's the moment where his younger brother literally dies. Because he has to, and Saname uses his, Saname and his little brother are battling upper one through all of this. While both Hashira have similar background and reason behind pursuing their impressive rank, Saname and Shinobu have followed very different paths. Despite their similarities, it's unlikely the pair will ever be friends, even though they could help one another through their respective trauma. Future arcs of Demon Slayer may see the wind and insect Hashira avenge their families and learn to process their anger in healthier ways, not hurting themselves or those around them anymore. So, again, th this is the part that starts to get weird. Because this is like a spoiler-free show, but at the same time you were showed off spoilers that haven't been shown in the show yet. So you've had to have read the manga, but obviously you didn't read the manga. You only looked this up on wiki whatever. On like wiki slayer. Demon slayer wiki. Th that's what you looked up to get some of their backstories and go like, oh, these two people have similar backstories. Well, why don't I write up an article about that? So you didn't even read the manga. You're watching the show. Because when you say maybe these future arcs will explore this stuff you wouldn't if you read the manga like you probably should have to write this article you would have known that uh yeah they all die they don't work through their trauma they die their trauma is used as the fuel to make them stronger y you know there's this thing called character growth and character development. And sometimes trauma is used to grow. Turning this down again because of my background stuff. And I'm just going to get closer to the mic. Uh, I'm just... I'm playing around with my mic. That's why I read this article. Again, it was a spoiler video. But this person didn't read the manga. This person's watching the show and then made a bunch of, wrote an article while reading stuff on wiki. You don't know the characters. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know how they die, obviously. And you don't know what they sacrifice in the very end. Because, again, another spoiler. Again, if you're watching this past this point and you don't want spoilers, there's something super wrong with you. But, are, are Saname? Yeah. Saname in the end is there assisting with the fi with the final battle against the main demon. He is one of the strongest demon slayers cuz not all the Hashiras make it. In fact, in their final like full on push, I can count for out of this list at least 1 2 3 well, in the show we already see what happens to Tengen. Tengen's out. You lose Butterfly. Rengoku's already dead. These are the Hashira you're left with. And each Hashira has a growth moment in the 
freaking show and the freaking manga. And a lot of them actually die battling the final dude. Because, granted, not our butterfly Hashira. She dies battling number two. But all these guys get done battling upper ranks. And then die after that. Because they had to uh, activate their own breathing technique stuff. And are going to die no matter what. But a lot of them die mid-battle. I I hate people that write these articles. Because if you're writing it based on the show, I would give you leeway. I wouldn't care. But the thing is, the show hasn't gone to those points. The show hasn't told us cinema, Saname's backstory, right? I'm saying that right. I have to keep looking it up. Yeah, Saname. Saname's backstory. And has only hinted at Shinobu's story. So you've had to have either read the manga or looked it up on wiki. You looked it up on wiki so you don't know the story. So you're you're stupid. You're, you're stupid. You're absolutely stupid. And you don't know anything about this story. But with that guys, that's the end of the video. If you like if you like to give it a thumbs up, share it out there. Give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell for every time I post up a new video and do a live stream. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.